Now, there's a lot of people in this industry that will tell you, and I'm glad there's a door right here in case things get ugly, but they'll say, don't till your soil. Good golly, don't till it. Don't you till it. You will lose all of the carbon in your soil if you till that soil. Here's something kind of funny. This is physics and chemistry. The carbon that they want you to leave in the residue on top of the soil after one growing season will oxidize 60 to 70 percent of all the stuff that you're going to need for next year's crop. When it oxidizes as it lays on top of the ground, it's lost, which means you get the opportunity to buy more stuff the following year. If you incorporate that, that carbon that's in the, that's in the plant that will oxidize up, if you incorporate that into the soil, you're gonna give something for the microbes to eat. Because if we breathe in air and give off carbon dioxide, we've got to have carbon and oxygen to make carbon dioxide. The microbes are no different. If you till that soil in and the microbes eat that carbon out of your stalk or the residue or the fodder or the stubble or whatever you want to call it, those microbes eat it and give off CO2. You're not going to lose that because CO2 is one and a half times heavier than atmospheric air. And you may think this is crazy and that's okay. I'm telling you what we have seen for almost 40 years across 38 states in the U.S., all the provinces in Canada and 17 foreign countries that we work in, this will tell the crop. This will tell the disease level. This will tell your fertilizer needs. Air is more important than anything else. One guy says, how can you say that? And I said, well, green plants are supposed to give something off. And all of a sudden I see his eyes. He's like, ah. Oh. He says, they take in CO2 and they give off oxygen. I said, yeah. And the more they can do this, the healthier they are, the higher their immune system, the less disease pressure you will have. 